everyone, Jay Super Awesome here, and this is going to be an update video. Now, this is going to be uh, pickups that I've gotten uh, within the past month. Uh, there's quite a bit to get through, so um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on each title. Uh, I just want to kind of get through them because there's so much to get through where it's not drug out. Uh, there's going to be one VHS, there's going to be Blu-rays and DVDs. All right, so let's get this started. Uh, first, I'm gonna do the VHS, and this is not really horror, horror related, but somewhat. Uh, it's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Uh, it's put out by Disney. Uh, it's only like 33 minutes long or something like that. This cover is a little bit battle tested, but the uh, VHS tape itself looks in really good shape. So, um, I was kind of happy to snag that one up. And that is the VHS. Okay, now I'm going to do the Blu-rays. Um, up first, uh, put out by Mill Creek. Uh, happy birthday to me. Uh, I love these retro VHS covers. They're pretty cool. And the next one is also a Mill Creek release. Uh, VHS style blu-ray and this one is for silent rage up next uh put out by unearthed classics is the unnameable uh, i've been after this one for a long time been waiting for a release and uh always really enjoyed this one Up, up next is the Nicolas Cage movie, Mandy. Really good movie. Next up, The Nun. Uh, a lot of people seem to dog this one a little bit, but I really enjoyed it. Fun movie. Next up, 80s slasher, uh, Night School. always like this one um, next up uh, these are cold red releases the next two twisted nightmare um, pretty bad slasher movie but still pretty fun and enjoyable I've seen it on VHS and have a VHS copy of it as well up next is deadly dreams also put out by cold red uh, also have a VHS of this one as well. Um, up next is Nightmares, put out by Scream Factory. Uh, I've held off on getting this for a long time, but uh, happy to finally get it. Uh, up next is The Stepfather, put out by... Um, Shout Factory. I think the other one may have been a Scream Factory release, and this one's Shout Factory. Same difference to me, uh, but really good movie. I held off on that one because I was hoping to get all three on Blu-ray, but it just doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. Next up is Spellbinder, and this one's put out by Kino. I haven't seen this one in forever. Next up, uh, put out by Vinegar, Vinegar Syndrome, uh, Blood Hook. I regret not being able to get the slip cover for this one, but I always really enjoyed this movie growing up. It looks like a really nice release, Blood Hook. Good slasher movie. Uh, next up is Mausoleum, and I haven't seen this one in a long time and was really glad to, uh, to land the slip cover for this one. The slip covers are, had actually sold out. And if you ordered quick enough, you could have a possibility of, of getting one. And uh, so I got really lucky. But that's Muslim, really cool cover. Um, next up, another Vinegar Syndrome release is uh, The Dead Come Home. This one's also known as uh, Dead Dudes in the House and The House on Tombstone Hill. Uh, always really enjoyed this one as well. All right, so that's it for the Blu-rays. On to the DVDs. Um, I got the Invisible Man collection. Uh, finally have been able to 
uh, complete these original Universal Studio monsters and uh, happy to kind of finish this off. Never seen any of these. Uh, next DVD is uh, Death House. Um, hearing a lot of bad things about this one, but um, supposed to be kind of the expendables of horror, but that's the way the cover kind of looks. But um, I really want to check it out. Um, all the rest of these are going to be uh, $1 pickups um, that I had picked up from a game exchange. These are basically more or less throwaway movies, $1 movies. So first up is Kill Syndrome. These A lot of these are going to look really cheesy, but I couldn't pass them up for a dollar. Uh, the next one is Path of Evil. It kind of looks like Michael Myers in the center there, so not really sure what to expect from this. That really looks like Michael Myers on the back, so this might be sort of a rip-off type movie. Uh, next up is Staunton Hill. Uh, Cameron Romero looks like, I think he was George Romero's son. Haven't heard much of anything about this. Next up is Raptor. I think this one's also considered Carnosaur 3. Um, I've seen it before, but it's been a long time. The next one is Witch's Sabbath. Looks really low budget, but who knows. The next one is The Lonely Ones. Uh, a lot of these I absolutely know nothing about. Next up is Infected. Looks like sort of a, maybe a zombie type movie. Kind of think it's neat how these have the uh, little horror stickers on them. I'm going to leave them on there. Next up is Kill Theory. Um, I used to always collect these After Dark Horror Fest releases this is one I didn't have next one is called stinger really cheesy low buck low budget looking stuff here psycho ward another one I know nothing about hospitality Rampage, The Hillside, Strangler, Murders. And last up is Storm of the Dead. Um, so all of those last ones I just ran through were a, a dollar, so I couldn't pass those up. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment below.